Okay, so obviously Dean has two arms. Most of the people you're gonna be rolling with will probably have the same, and he can use either of those to defend. So when I'm here, this is another very, very common situation when I start this sequence. I'm here working with Dean, and you know, I've isolated out this arm pretty well. I can even use like a, a hand on the head position if I wanted to, to make it really hard for Dean. I don't often do that, but it's a way of, of trapping it up. I start to go to here like this, and now I feel like, yeah, Dean's blocking me with his, with his, um, with his hand and with his elbow, okay? What I'm gonna do is I wanna push Dean's arm inside and jump it up over the top of his head, okay? I should still have his hand, uh, not his hand, sorry, his elbow caught on the ground, okay? So Dean shouldn't be able to pull this down. That is very, very important. Now from here, we have a bunch of different options. The one that I favor most is I'm gonna switch my body all the way around to the other side and be in like a, a reverse triangle slash Kimura position. Okay, I'll do it in a couple of different uh, directions so you guys can see. So right now, Dean's elbow is caught, leg over this side. What I'm gonna do is bring my weight forwards, so I'm kind of square on my knees, and then I switch my hips underneath, so I've now caught my leg underneath Dean's head. Okay, the reason I like this rather than just using a regular reverse triangle is it because it allows me great access on this arm to attack and it's very, very difficult to escape from. Okay, from here, I can lock up this reverse triangle. If I need to, I catch that elbow, kick my leg out straight and then lock it in deeper. To finish, the principle is identical. All I need to be able to do is close the space off. So I keep pulling and I keep squeezing my legs, slowly increasing the pressure, okay? I also have this wrist that I can be controlling and attacking here, okay? Which we'll talk about in just a second. Like often the partner will like grab their belt or whatever, but I've got a really good Kimura grip on this, uh, this grip. Sorry, I was choking Dean, I'd forgotten about it. I forgot about Dean's head. Sometimes that happens. Okay, just pop your legs flat for me, Dean, okay? Um, so yeah, we'll go from this angle. I'm here, I start to try to step over, Dean blocks with the other hand, okay? I just push. Big step over the top, and I start to make this triangle. So even here, there's pressure on Dean. Like I said, I could try and lock this one up, but I find it very hard, particularly with my short legs, like to, to effectively lock it up. So what are we gonna do instead, is I'm gonna go forwards. So I'm going both knees to the ground to get my leg a little bit deeper. And now I'm gonna fall, this is my left hip, I'm gonna fall on towards my left hip, and my leg goes straight underneath. Okay, now we're in this position here. Okay, I almost immediately lock up the triangle, even if it's loose so he can't get free. And then often I start catching this Kimura grip from here. Okay, now, if I want the, a little bit of extra control in what I'm doing, I'm gonna reach his lapel, grab it, bring it over Dean's wrist. If Dean tries to pull his hand out now, it's now tied up. That's basically a Kimura grip, but just with one hand. I have this other hand free that I can grab his tricep readjust. The way I readjust is I bring my leg deeper through, okay, lock it in, and then I lock to here. Sorry, Dean. To finish, okay, I'm going to pull, squeeze my legs together, pull his elbow, and slowly apply the pressure, okay? And again, if I'm here, Dean tries to move around, <clears throat> like he's pretty well tied up because I still have control of both elbows. Try and pull this elbow to the ground for me, Dean. It's not going to go anywhere. If he tries to go the other way, Go in the other direction, my elbow is blocking him from, or sorry, my thigh is blocking him from getting anywhere. So he can't escape from the position. Okay. <clears throat> One really important point when we're doing this triangle, I'm trying to make sure that my foot is all the way through the hole. I never like doing it on my toes. Okay, this is a very weak position for my ankle to be in. It's not strong, okay. If, if I mean, it's, it can work. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna work, but this is basically a foot lock. Like my feet don't bend like this. Okay, well they do bend a little bit like this, but not a lot, and it's hard to apply pressure. If I go all the way through, I can lock this in very, very tightly. This is a really active stopper when I'm working. So pretty much on all triangles, I'm trying to go over the shin and lock in position. Okay, one more time. Let's go, I haven't spin 180 degrees this way. So, we're here <clears throat> in this situation, okay? I try to step, Dean blocks with this hand. I jump, hook his head back, try and connect my knee to my heel. Okay, now, from here, again, I'm always thinking about control of the elbow, so even back here, I'll still be reaching to this one. Go one, okay, now I'm gonna switch, boom. Okay, can you put your legs flat for me, Dean? <clears throat> See, this hand's on the ground. I, I, again, I always lock up a loose triangle first. I bring this arm, the one that's laying on the ground, through, catch his wrist, so I'm in that Kimura grip position. 
Okay, if I wanna readjust, the way that I do it is I keep it here and I grab the lapel. You can also do the same grabbing onto the belt as well. Dean tries to remove his hand, it's tricky. I like the lapel better because it's a better knot to work with. Okay, now I can readjust this position. I'm still in control. The way I do it is I pull Dean's uh, shoulder, drive my leg through as deep as I can. Then I relock up. Look at my toes when I go to lock up. They stay tight. To finish, I pull, squeeze my legs together a bit like a thigh master, and we're good to go. Okay, so that's our reverse triangle. <clears throat> like I said, it works amazingly well. The position itself that we end in is incredibly, incredibly hard to escape from. Um, and yeah, we've got a lot of the submission options from there. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the content. If you'd like to hear more from me, then the easiest thing to do is download my free ebook, which is called Performance Drilling. It covers how I went from not winning a major competition to a three-time world champion um, and a ton of other information as well. I regularly send out more emails, videos, uh, useful tips, tricks, all kinds of different stuff that will help improve your grappling. The way you can access it is go to escapologybjj.com forward slash performance drilling. I hope to see you on the other side.